Yeah. Someone's just written in saying he thinks we should make a renewable energy video. He's just completely drained his batteries. Let them run down. Has to buy a whole new set. Hmm. You mustn't have had early access to our videos through our Silent of Vagabond How to Sail Guide. So a water pump uses 6 amps per hour. Riley! An ampere is a unit of energy that can be stored in a battery bank. We have lithium batteries and I've got a link down below to a blog on the differences between lead acid and lithium batteries, but there are two important things to note. Those being that the usable amp hours are very different between lead acid and lithium and in the long run, lithium might save you money. Our lithium batteries have about 208 usable amp hours. A comparable lead acid battery setup would be about 600 amp hours because the usable amount for 600 in the lead acid would be about 200 amp hours. Other appliances on board that require power and are pretty standard are things like the autopilot, water maker, chart plotter, navigation lights, fridge, and music. So we're currently on anchor and we did an energy budget for the day. So we're going to start with how much energy we gained for the day. So we have four solar panels at 140 watts each. With an average eight hour day on anchor, factoring in about a 70% efficiency because of cloud cover and shade and stuff like that, we get roughly 130 amps per day coming in through the solar panels. So now we've got to figure out how much energy we're using. Well, to start with, uh, having the fridge running all day, that uses 29 amps. The anchor light, 2 amps. Fans, 2 amps. Interior lights, 2 amps. Electric panel, 2 amps. Pumps, 3 amps. Phone charger, 4 amps. And music, 17 amps. That's a big one. We That's like music. <laughs> <laughs> we love music. <laughs> so this comes to a total of 61 amps for the day. Um, something you have to realise is this is a really low number because Riley and I have been doing it for a few years now and we've really learnt to pinch and save energy wherever we can. If you're a family of six, you know, um, coming from home, Pass maybe on a sail charter boat, something you have to realise is this number could be times by six. Uh, so it's funny how Elena and I, when we're, when we're, even when we're back on land and I'll hesitate before flicking on a light switch or make sure that the cup's underneath the tap before I turn it on and never leave it on when I'm brushing my teeth. We have become, what does um, that guy call it in, uh, in that movie? Institutionalised. Because the world's gone and got itself in a big damn hurry. We've gotten good at it. However, where we fall down is the inverter and the laptop, which comes in at 58 amps. Yeah. That's because Elena is can be editing eight hours a day. So yeah. that's a serious chunk of energy. That's where um, most of our energy is going. Pushing the computer to its limits. Premiere Pro 4K drone footage. So with the 61 amps of necessary appliances we've used on the boat, plus the 58 of what we would call unnecessary, but very Necessito. necessary for us, the 58 for the laptop and the inverter, that comes to a grand total of 119 amps for the day. So we have the energy gained for the day, which was 130 amps, take the 119 that we used, equals 11, so we've come out on top here. So if we had have switched the other fridge on for the day, that would have cost us an extra 29 amps, and therefore we'd be under and we'd have to look at starting the engine for more power or something like that, which we don't want to do. Now, our energy budget whilst on a crossing. So whilst we're sailing, the energy efficiency of the solar panels will be less. So very conservatively, let's call it 50%. That's because the boat is moving and also you've got the sails up, which is causing more shade, but it would be different depending on your location and your day. So our main sources of energy are the solar panels coming in at 93 amps for the day. And our water generator with about a 50% efficiency over 24 hours, that'll bring in about 210 amps. So that's a grand total of 303 amps we've gained for the day. So what are we spending? So we've got the autopilot at about 90 amps, the AIS which comes in at about 12. Electronics about 48, comfort 115, lighting including navigation lights about 12, which is a total of 277 amps. 
So that leaves us about 26 in front. So everything we've outlined already, this is all going to change based upon your philosophy and your sail route. So if you are a family of eight and you're going up to the Arctic Circle or you're a single-handed sailor in Thailand, everything's going to change based upon you. Some people have told me that having air conditioning on board in various parts of the world is necessary, uh, but for us, I don't really think so. We have been to the places, we've cleaned the mould off the walls, we've had forever damp towers, so it's not like we haven't experienced the tropics. But with careful passage planning, you can avoid the worst of this. So for just Elena and I travelling around the world, um, we don't think it's necessary to have a generator and an air conditioner on board uh, for those times. We're happy with that. Yeah. Apart from the times when we were like really hot. <laughs> Most recently, we're really proud of the fact that we only used 200 litres of diesel over 5,000 nautical miles. That was, yeah, I really liked checking the gauge and seeing that. That was pretty, so to, pretty awesome. To, so, to put that in perspective, I'll just go uh, dive into my notes here. From LA to New York City is 2,148 nautical miles, and for our Australian friends, Perth to Sydney is 1,786. So that's a long 200 way. litres of diesel. Yeah. Very stoked on our own selves. So to be using the sun and the wind to their almost full potential and minimising what we use on board, it's a bit of a game that we play and enjoy on board. Very much so. Mm. Very satisfying. So you're always going to have guests on board that might be a little bit difficult like telling them to get out of the shower after the two minute mark but you do have some friends that just get it like my friends Lily and Jody. they came in Tahiti and they did understand that we had they came to it resources. of their own accord didn't they they did and that's a beautiful thing to see that which I think is about the best lesson that you can hope to learn when you're beginning to sail all right guys thanks for watching please don't forget to give the video a like and I would like to hear about if anyone else has got a energy budget or if we've missed anything out or any ideas, tips, tricks, information, I'm going to get into that comment section. Also, don't forget to check out our other how-to videos if you haven't already and subscribe if you haven't done that either. And click the notification bell. And do all that stuff. And email my mum. <laughs> yeah. Good. See Thank you next you. time. See ya.